Dear students, now we are going to discuss number of holes in the valency band. In previous video, we have discussed number of electrons in the conduction band. Okay, so the upper part. Now we are going to discuss about this valency band. How many number of holes present in the valency band? The same diagram only I have drawn. This is for the intrinsic semiconductor. Once again, let me explain the diagram. So now the lower energy band is called the valency band. Its limit starts from minus infinity to plus EV. EV is the energy of the top level of the valency band and EC is the energy of the bottom of the conduction band and the plus infinity is the maximum energy for the conduction band. And in between these two, we are having the Fermi energy which lies exactly in between the valency band and the conduction band. Now we are concentrating on the valency band. So within this band, how many number of holes present? That means when the electron moves to conduction band it leaves the empty site that empty site is nothing but the holes so uh, if the electron moves here holes will be created so how many number of holes will be there in the valency band that is what our discussion today so now i am going to explain about the number of holes can be represented by small p r okay n suffix h what is the n suffix h number of holes okay either p or n h both we can use for the letter number of holes in the valency band okay let us start our discussion same thing like the previous video so within small energy range i am going to discuss the number of holes so the energy range is e and e plus de within this range how many number of holes present so that can be represented as dp dp is equal to the same expression is it of e into de okay and then in previous case we used f of e f of e is the probability of electron occupancy but now we are talking about the whole occupancy so how can we find for whole occupancy that is nothing but one is the total probability okay minus f of e what is f of e f of e is the electron occupancy if we subtract from one we can get for the holes okay so one minus f of e is the whole occupancy okay one minus f of e is the whole occupancy so dp is equal to z of e into de into 1 minus f of e. This is expression number 1 we considered. And the next. So I am going to find for the whole band. So P is equal to. We have to do the integration part for the dp. Right. So what is the lower limit for uh, valency band minus infinite minus infinity. The upper energy limit will be ev. Okay. So which is equal to minus infinity to ev. Okay. What is the value of dp? Z of e into de is it of e into de into 1 minus f of e 1 minus f of e so again we have to do we have to do the value for z of e into de okay so this i am considering equation number two okay so first let us start with z of e into de discussion so consider consider z of e into de how many number of energy states available for the whole occupancy so as we know that the general formula for z of e into de is equal to the same formula 4 pi divided by h cube okay 2m whole to the power of 3 by 2 and then e power 1 by 2 into de right this is the general formula we have to consider for z of e into de and here we are going to do two modifications what is the first modification instead of m i am going to write m h star okay what is this mh star represents effective mass effective mass of hole effective mass of hole okay and then energy value e how can we going to write this e we are talking about energy of the electron within the band okay so ev ev is the energy of the top of the valency band so here holes will be at rest holes will be at rest so ev is the potential energy so now e is equal to ev minus e that is ev is the maximum energy e is the kinetic energy of the material the kinetic energy of the hole so that e is equal to ev minus e okay there are two modifications we are going to do in this above equation so this i am considering equation number three all right so what is this next step z of e into de is equal to 4 pi divided by h cube okay and then instead of m i am going to write m h star 
whole to the power of 3 by 2. Instead of E, I am going to write EV minus E whole to the power of 1 by 2 into DE. So, this is what the final expression for exit of E into DE. Okay. So, this is I am considering equation number 4. So, now the first, discuss, the first term discussion is over. Next, we have to discuss about 1 minus F of E. Okay. So, let us go to the next page. So, now what is that we have to consider? 1 minus f of e. Okay, 1 minus f of e. As we know well, the value of f of e is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus exponential of e minus e f divided by k t. e minus e f divided by k t. So, here 1 minus the whole term is there. I am going to take the LCM here. So, the numerate that means this part will come up 1 plus exponential of e minus e f divided by kt okay minus 1 this one minus 1 whole divided by 1 plus exponential of e minus ef divided by kt okay next step in numerator we, we can cancel this plus 1 and minus 1 so which is remaining exponential of e minus ef divided by kt right whole divided by 1 plus exponential of e minus e f divided by k t okay next we are going to discuss about what is the denominator part actually in the diagram can you remember this is the valency band so this is e v okay and then above that only e f is there we are talking about the energy of the hole which is present over here so e minus e f this is the highest energy this is the lowest energy so e minus e f means for example this is this is 7 electron volt and this is 1 electron volt e minus e f 1 minus 7 okay so what will happen we will get the negative value minus 6 is the negative value same thing here so e minus EF will be a negative value. It is a negative value, right? So, what will happen? Next step, E minus EF divided by KT is also a negative value, right? So, exponential of negative value, that is exponential of E minus EF by KT is very much less than 1, is very much less than 1. Okay, is very much less than 1. That is the reason what we are going to do is the denominator is there. No, denominator. What is that? 1 plus exponential of E minus E F divided by K T is very much lesser than 1. That's what approximately which is equal to 1. Approximately which is equal to 1. So, what will happen now? Our F of E part, this is only for your understanding. Okay. So, next, what is there? So, 1 minus 1 minute. So, 1 minus f of e is equal to the denominator, total denominator becomes 1. Okay. So, that exponential of e minus e f divided by k t. Okay. So, this I am considering equation number 5. This I am considering equation number 5. So, 1 minus f of e is equal to exponential of e minus e f divided by k t. Okay. So, now our duty is to substitute z of e into d e value from equation 4 and 1 minus f of e in equation 5 in this equation 2. Okay. So, let us try it. So, what is their equation 2 now becomes equation 2 is p is equal to integration of minus infinity to ev right z of e into de value from equation 4 4 pi by h cube okay and then 2 m h star whole to the power of 3 by 2 here ev minus e whole to the power of 1 by 2 into de this is z of e into de value and then 1 minus f of e is nothing but exponential of e minus e f divided by k t e minus e f divided by k t okay here we have to take all the constants outside so what are the constants here 4 pi divided by h cube okay and then 2 m h star whole to the power of 3 by 2 i am taking out so what is there within the integration part minus infinity to ev ev minus e whole to the power of 1 by 2 
okay de i am going to write at the end so that exponential of e minus ef divided by kt into de right so same thing as we did in the previous case minus ef by kt is the constant i am going to take out how can we take out how can i write this e by kt minus ef by kt right so if you this is the part so so how can we write exponential of e by kt into exponential of minus ef by kt right this second term is you know exponential of minus ef by kt i am going to take out so how can i write 4 pi divided by h cube okay 2 m h star whole to the power of 3 by 2 the exponential of minus ef by kt is coming coming out okay and it's minus infinity to ev inside ev minus e whole to the power of 1 by 2 and then exponential of e by kt into de right into de okay so now the same thing what we have done in the previous case so this part i am going to consider it as x so how can i write let x is equal to ev minus e ev minus e okay differentiate this otherwise we have to find the e value also that's what what i'm doing minus e will come this side so e is equal to ev this x will come this side minus x right huh? so now you differentiate de is equal to ev is the constant so it will become zero okay so which is remaining minus dx so instead of de we can write it as dx right this is the first part and the next we have to substitute the limits two limits to be changed for x so how can i write when energy of the whole is equal to the first limit is minus infinite okay lower limit so what is the x value x is equal to ev minus e okay the same expression i have written here instead of e i have to write minus infinite so x is equal to ev already minus is there so it will become minus infinite ev will be any value plus infinite if you are adding any value with infinite it will become infinite only so x is equal to plus infinite plus infinity okay this is the first limit and what about the second limit when energy of the whole e is equal to ev okay so write the same expression here x is equal to ev minus e okay x is equal to instead of e what i'm going to substitute ev so ev minus ev right so x is equal to zero now okay so this is what the values we got for x term so d this d will become minus dx and this minus infinity will become plus infinite ev will become zero so the same thing i am going to write now by substitution all the values so now we will go to the next page okay so now i am going to write p is equal to 4 pi divided by h cube okay and then 2 m h star whole to the power of 3 by 2 exponential of minus ef divided by kt is there outside now the integration the lower limit is changed to minus uh, plus infinite sorry plus infinite and the upper limit ev becomes zero now and within the ev minus e is the x so x power 1 by 2 is there and then exponential of e by kt is there what is the value of e minus x okay and then plus ev minus x plus ev divided by kt minus x plus ev divided by kt into de become minus dx de become minus dx now you see this ev is there inside okay that also we have to take outside so plus ev by kt will come outside so how can we write now 4 pi divided by h cube okay 2 m h star whole to the power of 3 by 2 exponential of this is minus ef this is plus ev so that i am going to write ev minus ef divided by kt okay and then plus infinity to 0 okay x power 1 by 2 exponential of 
minus x by kt into minus dx right here another step what is the next step here infinity here 0 here negative sign is there to remove this negative sign we can interchange the limits so how can I do now 4 pi divided by h cube okay 2 m h star whole to the power of 3 by 2 exponential of ev minus ef divided by kt okay now limits are changing 0 to infinite x power 1 by 2 exponential of minus x by kt into dx okay i removed the negative sign by interchanging the limits okay the whole uh, integration part last video itself we have discussed so for that the value will be 4 pi by h cube okay and then 2 m h star whole to the power of 3 by 2 exponential of ev minus ef divided by kt for this what is the answer kt power 3 by 2 pi power 1 by 2 whole divided by 2 right for this integration by using the gamma function that already we have discussed in the previous video so now 2 and this 4 will be cancelled so that 2 directly i am going to write i am opening the bracket with the power of 3 by 2 so here power pi power 1 and pi power 1 by 2 same discussion so 2 this 2 and then pi and then m h star kt all are having the power 3 by 2 i am including this h cube also within the power of 3 by 2 so that it will be converted into h square converted into h square whole to the power of 3 by 2 okay and then exponential of ev minus ef divided by kt okay so this is what the number of holes present in the valency band okay so this is p value this expression represents number of holes present in the valency band okay so this is what the result what we expected okay now you just to go through that if you have any doubt you can ask okay thank you everyone